subscribe to RA Solutions by clicking on the subscribe button and clicking on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello there, welcome to another video by RA Solutions. In this episode, this is episode 3 of Getting Started with formulas in Microsoft Excel 365. In this episode, what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to use the average function. So what is the average function? Average function works in the same way as you would expect it to work when you calculate in the average of a range of numbers. So you use the average function to get the average of numbers in a range of cells. So <clears throat> a few steps we need to follow. So step one, we, we're going to select cell D7 in this example on the right here and then use auto sum to add an average function. Okay, so what we're going to be doing in here, there's a few ways to add the average function. We're going to use the auto sum feature to do this. So highlight where you want the formula to go. Then at the top, obviously this table here before I move on um, shows you the amount of fruit um, in a specific shop so 50 apples 20 oranges 60 bananas 40 lemons just to give you a bit of context so we're going to average those numbers here in this yellow box here so at the top in the ribbon go to the home tab at the top scroll across to the editing section here and you see the auto sum function we're going to click on the arrow on the right of it there and we're going to choose average so what it's going to do when we click on average it's going to Put the formula in there so the formula is equals average bracket open the first value which is in d3 the colon which is the array to d6 there so it's going to average out these numbers here for us automatically the only way it's going to work if you're going to click on enter as well to um, complete that formula there you have it so the average of all those numbers added together is 42.5 so again here we have meat and fish and we have the different amounts this and um, we can do it manually so the first thing we do what we've learned um, when we do a formula is equals then we type in the function we're going to use the function is average and then we're going to do bracket open then we're going to use a mouse and we're going to drag our left mouse button down to all the numbers we want to um, for it to calculate the average of bracket open um, closed then enter. There you go. On this particular table, the average is 35. Let me delete that and use the auto sum function again. At the top, go to the home tab, scroll across, auto sum, click on the arrow, average. It automatically puts the formula in there. Enter. So we've got the same number there. And one more time. Okay. Equals average bracket open. <clears throat> highlight these ones these are bread donuts cookies cakes and pies you can see the numbers in there we want to highlight them all so d10 to d14 bracket closed and enter so there we have it or one more way delete what's in there go to the top go to the home tab scroll across to editing click on the arrow on the right of autosum choose average and it will automatically put the formula in there click on enter there we have it. So that's a, just a quick and easy way showing you how to use the average function in Microsoft Excel uh, to average out a load of um, different range of numbers. Um, so you first thing you do is do equals, then you use the average function, bracket open, highlight the cells you want to calculate the average of, bracket closed, and enter. I hope this video has helped you. Um, please like, please subscribe, and share.